Hadrosaurus. Hadrosaurus, slash Hadrosaurus slash, meaning bulky lizard, is a genus of hadrosaurid ornithopod dinosaurs that lived in North America during the late Cretaceous period in what is now the Woodbury Formation about 80 million to 78 million years ago. The holotype specimen was found in fluvial marine sedimentation, meaning that the corpse of the animal was transported by a river and washed out to sea. They were large animals ranging from 7 to 8 meters, 23 to 26 feet, and 2 to 40, 2,000 to 4,000 kilograms. Most of the preserved elements are very robust, unusual traits in hadrosaurs. Hadrosaurs were ponderously built animals equipped with keratinous beaks for cropping foliage and a specialized and complex dentition for food processing. Hadrosaurus phocii, the only species in this genus, is known from a single specimen consisting of much of the skeleton and parts of the skull. The specimen was collected in 1858 from the Woodbury Formation in New Jersey, U.S., representing the first dinosaur species known from more than isolated teeth to be identified in North America. Using radiometric dating of bivalve shells from the same formation, the sedimentary rocks where the Hadrosaurus fossil was found have been dated at some time between 80.5 and 78.5 million years ago. In 1858 the only known specimen became the first ever mounted dinosaur skeleton and since 1991 the species H. phocii has become the official state dinosaur of New Jersey. History of Discovery In 1838, John S. Ta Hopkins was digging in a marl pit, on a small tributary of the Cooper River in Haddonfield, New Jersey, and part of the Campany and H. Woodbury Formation, when he uncovered large bones, putting them on display at his home, also in Haddonfield. In 1858, these bones sparked the interest of a visitor, William Parker Falk. The skeleton was dug out from the marl pit in 1858 by Falk. The excavation site, known as the Hadrosaurus Phocii Lottie site, is now a National Historic Landmark. Falk contacted paleontologist Joseph Lighty, and together they recovered eight teeth from the maxillary and dentary areas, dental battery fragments, left maxilla fragments, three partial dorsal vertebrae. 13 caudal century including an almost complete middle caudal vertebra and other fragments, partial right coracoid, left humerus, left radius, left ulna, left ilium, right ischium, right partial pubis, the left hind line composed by the femur, tibia, fibula with metatarsals 2 and 4 and the first pedal phalanx from the third digit. Falk and Lydie studied the fossils together, and in 1858, Lydie formally described a named Hadrosaurus phocii in honor of his collaborator. While originally a portmanteau of Haddonfield, the location of its discovery with the accepted suffix for dinosaurs source, the name Hadrosaurus was scientifically justified as deriving from the Greek delta rho sigma, hadros, meaning bulky or large, and sigma alpha rho omicron sigma, soros, meaning lizard. The name was an additional play on words by Lydie since it translates from Greek as phallox big lizard. Lighty recognized that these bones were from a dinosaur by their similarity to those of Iguanodon, discovered in England some decades before, but at the time, the skeleton of Hadrosaurus was one of the most complete dinosaur skeletons known. Lighty's monograph Cretaceous Reptiles of the United States, describing Hadrosaurus more completely and with illustrations, was written in 1860, but the American Civil War delayed its publication until 1865. Lydie reconstructed Hadrosaurus as a biped, in contrast to the view at the time that such dinosaurs were quadrupedal. The entire skeleton was completely assembled in 1868 by a team including English sculptor and naturalist Benjamin Waterhouse Hawkins and was put on display at Philadelphia Academy of Natural Sciences. It was the first ever mounted dinosaur skeleton. When the skeleton was first assembled, it was displayed with a plaster skull sculpted by Hawkins. Many other artists have recreated Hadrosaurus with skulls from other related species such as Gryposaurus and Brachylophosaurus. A statue of Hadrosaurus, sculpted by Haddonfield resident John John Oti, now stands in the center of the town of Haddonfield, commemorating its discovery there. Hadrosaurus was named the state fossil of New Jersey, designated in 1994. It is one of the most celebrated dinosaurs ever and is of great historic importance. The skeleton is usually kept behind the scenes in the Academy's collections. However, from November 22, 2008, until April 19, 2009, a fully assembled cast of the skeleton and an exhibit about the science and culture surrounding the dinosaur's discovery was open to the public. Dot. Description Hadrosaurus were large-sized animals growing up to 7 to 8 meters, 23 to 26 feet, and weighing as much as 2 to 40, 2,000 to 4,000 kilograms. According to Prieto Marquez, Hadrosaurus can be distinguished in having a shortened pectoral crest that is slightly over 40% of the total humeral length, 
a delta pectoral crest that is developed from the humeral shaft causing the lateral-distal border to display a broad lateral facet, a lower greatest point of the supraacetabular crest located above lateral edge from the rear to the bottom on the posterior tuberosity of the ischial peduncle of the ilium, a shortened supraacetabular crest from the front to the rear with its breadth being half the length of the middle iliac plate. As in most hadrosaurs, the forelimbs were not as heavily built as the hindlimbs, but were long enough to be used in standing or movement. The holotype specimen was a relatively large animal at the time of death with a 1.05 meters, 105 centimeters, long femur and 93.3 centimeters, 933 millimeters, long tibia. Most of the preserved elements feature a marked robust composition with the fibula being one of the most robust among hadrosaurs. Dot. Classification Despite the fact that the family Hadrosauridae has hadrosaurus as its type genus, the skeleton lacks a skull and was long viewed as too incomplete to compare to other hadrosaurs for classification purposes, leading most scientists to consider it a nomen dubium, or dubious name. However, a re-evaluation of the fossil material at 2011 noted several distinct characteristics of the skeleton that could allow the genus Hadrosaurus and species H. Fokii to remain in use as valid taxa. Hadrosaurus has also traditionally served as the basis for a large subfamily called Hadrosaurini, which was seen as a group of largely crestless hadrosaurs related to the crested subfamily Lamiosaurini. However, the changing view of Hadrosaurus classification in relation to other hadrosaurs has led some scientists to rename these subfamilies. In a 2008 study, Hadrosaurus was found to be more primitive than either Lamiosaurines or other Hadrosaurines, and not a particularly close relative of classic Hadrosaurines such as Edmontosaurus and Saurolophus. As a result of this, the name Hadrosaurini was restricted to Hadrosaurus alone, and the subfamily comprising the traditional Hadrosaurines was renamed the Saurolophini. Below is a simplified cladogram recovered by Ramirez Velasco et al. in 2012 in their description of Hugh Wake on Althus. This topology was recovered using an extensive sampling of 60 hadrosauroid species, and two outgroup taxa, which were scored based on 287 morphological traits, and included data from two recent redescriptions of hadrosaurus by Prieto Marquez et al. 2006, and Prieto Marquez, 2011. Paleobiology in 2003, Rothschild and colleagues performed a study looking for epidemiology of tumors in dinosaurs. Evidence of tumors, including hemangiomas, desmoplastic fibroma, metastatic cancer, and osteoblastoma were discovered in specimens of hadrosaurus by analyzing dinosaur vertebrae using computerized tomography and fluoroscope screening. Several other hadrosaurids, including Brachylophosaurus, Edmontosaurus, and Gilmoriosaurus, also tested positive. Although more than 10,000 fossils were examined in this manner, the tumors were limited to hadrosaurus and other hadrosaurs. The tumors were only found on caudal vertebrae and they may have been caused by environmental factors or genetic inheritance. Paleoecology the holotype of Hadrosaurus was found in marine sediments, which suggests the skeleton was transported by a river and then deposited in the Cretaceous Sea. The Hadrosaurus remains all persist to the Woodbury Formation. Through the radiometric dating of bivalve shells known from the formation, the sedimentary rocks where the holotype specimen of Hadrosaurus was found have been dated from 80.5 million to 78.5 million years ago.